What is going on guys? Nick here and welcome back to An Eye for an Eye, our Beastman narrative campaign, I guess. <laughs> now last time we actually made really good progress. I was I finished the video and I was like, oh that was we did okay, but now like booting it back up after a day, we took out almost this entire like civilization already. They're down to three things. They had the, they do have their capital, which is gonna be an issue. But we do have our little roaming band of just shit disturbers going and uh, taking their places while we hang out down here in the bottom. And I said I was originally like, oh, I could just go and take their capital right now and let those let the um, our what the beastmen, basically our wog, um, go deal with Caden and their army. But I kind of want to build up this army because I'm running into that issue in my other campaign where I should have built up instead of built out, and so. I want to not make that mistake this time, and so I'm actually thinking of, I'm debating, I'm debating between Centigors or Minotaurs, and then there's also the buff stuff here, which I could get, that's 9,000 favor though, that's a lot of favor. This one's 4,600, and it gives us Minotaurs. Let's see, upkeep and upkeep. So I don't have any other benefits. Where's that? Centigors, upkeep, and then upkeep. Okay. So probably... Uh, such a stressful decision. I really think Centigors... As much as I like the Minotaurs, I think having Cav is just going to be strong. And plus they all have forward deployment. So yeah, let's go with go centaurs. We'll build that up this turn, and then next turn we'll start doing. I'll start dropping those shitty, the shitty spearmen. We had the Ungor spearmen herd with shields, and we have these guys who just have spears. I'll probably drop all three of those for three more units of centaurs. Or maybe a unit of set, two units of centaurs and some archers. So I could have four archers. That actually might be worth it. Yeah, let's disband him. We'll get one more archer going. But yeah, I'm, oh, did our wog dude just die? Let's see. Yeah, Bray Herd is the one eye. Oh well. I mean, oh, we got minus movement. Ooh. Bird army, crushing defeat. Crushing defeat, <laughs> okay. So they probably fought the mobile times. But that's alright. Wait, it's our... Wow, so we can't go that far at all in this mode. That's weird, because in the other campaign, it's like so obviously one-sided that you should always basically be using that. But alright. See, these guys are 158 upkeep. Okay, I can do this. So we'll go like that. Disband those two units. Grab two centigrades. We'll have this hang out for two turns, but I think it's worth it to have some really nice cav units. Yeah, alright. Oh, also, I got... <laughs> this is, has nothing to do with Warhammer, but... I got my cat a new collar, or his first collar. It has a bell on it though that I can't get off. Um, so if you can hear it throughout the video and it's annoying, let me know, cause I'll try to like get like wire cutter or something to get it off. But um, I couldn't get it off, and I actually cut my hand trying to get it off. So I'm just like, fuck it, it's staying for now. But if it becomes an issue, I can get it off. Just gotta put a little more effort into it. Actually, it's causing a ruckus right now. Cat, what are you doing? Stop it. Alright. Oh, I didn't look at... I should have watched that as to where that army from Caden went. Although, apparently they're... They, I, there must be another Beastman army up here. Because they just had their area sacked. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's interesting for sure. Let's see. Where's your sack? We failed it. Oh, I didn't realize we had a limited time on that. I thought that was one of those quests where it's just like, just do it kind of forever. 
<laughs> and eventually you'll get it. What is this, a Marienburg spy? Weird. Right. Slowly moving towards Caden. I'm super curious, like, where the- oh, it's right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, sorry about that. There should be a cut there. <laughs> My cat decided to go goddamn ape shit in the background, knocking over a bunch of shit. And I had to go, go handle that. So it should be kind of a abrupt cut. Um, not exactly sure where the cut's gonna be, because it all happened while shit was happening on screen. Um, but we got another Dark Moon, and we moved closer to, uh, what, Caden? Something, something, something. But yeah. Cats. Cats are a big pain in the ass. Definitely a thing. Let's see. Do we go Bestial Rage, or do we go... I mean, a lot of times this doesn't really matter. The only one that sucks is the Horde Growth one, because it's like minus 20 to Horde Growth. It's such like a stunt. In terms of, I mean, I could just go for the one that doesn't matter the cost of skill. Let's see. So I can either go for them right here, or just march towards their capital, which I think is the better idea. Because there's no way this army can fight me. Let's get a uh, another another tech. What do we get? Horde recruitment capacity. That's not that important, honestly. Um. How do I want to do this? Attrition, casualty, the casualty replenishment could be really nice. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll start sieging. Oh, he's coming to protect it, I'm guessing? Okay, well, we'll just go take Caden then. And be like, you done goofed, good sir. And then we'll just probably siege out that, um, their, what's it called, capital? Alright, we got all that. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Bam. Okay. Did I level up? I did. Old one eye. Oh, in perfect timing, because we got lightning strike. Which is still the same thing. It aims like to strike. Is it? Let's see. Pre battle panel enables to prevent reinforcements from joining. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now we should be. Oh, Gruck Man Eater got a point too. Who I'm actually. This guy, I'm just super not all that enthralled with. Like, I mean, it's. I guess it's cool because he has all the buffs, but at the same time, it's just kind of like. Well. He's just kind of there, taking up a slot, so I'll probably replace it at some point. See, so objective issue to rage, raid Bokel. What the hell's Bokel? Uh, there's strategic view, right? Yeah. Bokel, Bokel, Bokel. Sheffield. Where the hell's Bokel? There's a way to like search. That's Brockle. Was that the one that it meant? Brockle over here? Whatever. We'll just finish up this first. Alright. Can I? I can't. I could just, just probably move in and start raiding. Yeah. Let's hang out and raid for a bit. Oh, we don't get replenishment during raiding. It's a little annoying. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll encamp. Can't do anything because our growth is pretty shit. That's okay. Not too big a deal. Alright. How's our army looking? We're looking good enough. The shaman, he shouldn't be getting damage anyway. It's just... When, uh, when he ends up having the issues of, um, what's it called? Uh, the auto resolve. It always ends up getting him killed and shit. Let's keep Lightning Strike on. 
and then I mean, I'm not going to siege these guys, but we might as well just have some stuff. Cause I'm just gonna I'm just gonna siege them out. Like they're going to have to come out and fight me. Yeah, just keep on sieging it. Yeah. Because so eventually they'll just topple. I mean, this isn't the most interesting gameplay, but it's the best decision right now, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, right, what is this? Non aggression pact. Sure. Don't wanna have to deal with another tribe while I'm trying to siege these guys down and handle all the humans. Yeah, just keep sieging. I don't actually know. I've never figured it out if you have to actually keep hitting continue siege. But I do it just out of like safety, I guess. Let's see, so they have four turns remaining until they start suffering attrition. And then ten turns until they just say fuck it, take it. <laughs> Which is nice. Although I'm surprised they're not coming out to attack. I guess they know that they can't kill me, but it's still surprising because this is their last bastion of hope. Oh shit, I got sober for once. Good job, you drunk. Just keep doing it. I think they should start taking... Is there anything that could help us here? Horde growth. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Take that one. Yeah, because we don't really need the casualty replenishment rate right now. And we're not even going to fight these guys. So... That ends up working out. And plus we're essentially just sitting here getting our tech done. Which is nice. In which... I think... Income from raising settlements. Uh, income from raiding plus twenty percent. Income from raising settlements plus ten. That's pretty good. We could also go weapon strength minotaur units plus twenty percent and speed for all units. Oh, ooh ooh ooh. Oh, there's also enemy siege hold out here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this way, then go. Because we want the Centigore unit recruits. And then we also want enemy siege holdout. But, uh, yeah. We'll go for that. Because that holdout, going down two turns would be sweet. Okay. So now they should start suffering attrition. In which I'm super... Su like... They should be attacking me. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why they're not. But I'm fine with it. Although I am curious what happens to that army if I just starve them out. Do they just die? I've never actually gotten to that point because normally they come out and attack me. Yeah, I'll go. Steel Rage. What we got? Still, they're taking serious damage though. Ugh, I love just sieging people out. The battles are fun, but I like the grand, like, the map part of this game. Not the actual battles. And so, sieging out people is so much fun. Because it's just like, you can't do anything. I think I literally just did this, yeah. Let's do that. And then continue. Alright. So you guys ready to fork it over? I almost think I just auto resolve it just for the XP. Yeah. We'll crush them. Nobody died. We did quite well. We only lost 194 units. Nice. And we were able to wipe both of them. Oh god, 6k or growth. I think we take the growth. Because I think that's just gonna be better in general. Alright, we killed them. We got a level. In which we can take horde growth. <laughs> Actually all the ones on this one No, is it oh no, it's here where I can keep getting enemy siege hold that time, but I'd like to get growth. Because that's our biggest issue right now. Let's see how much growth Okay, so I have plenty of growth 
to Oh fuck. What do you got, sir? You take evasion. What does he have later on? So he has a debuff with for speed and accuracy, which is okay, I guess. Let's see. Spawns a manticore. What? A target an ally. Okay, so we can get a manticore at some point. That's cool. <laughs> I'm wonder. I'm curious if he can sp like cast it on himself. Because if he can become like a big ass demon thing, all my gripes about that shaman are gone. Whoa! What the hell's happening over here? Oh, we got 2,500. The cult of Ulrich declares war on you. Okay, that's fine. For I heard the call of great hunt has been answered. The ground lurch is right. Oh, nice. We got another um, Brayherd thing. So we gotta go destroy the cult of Ulrich, who is a massive. Like they're they're essentially the entire rest of the map. Minus um, Marienburg and then like a goblin tribe. That's not the right button. Yeah, because they have. Where are they at? Yeah, nine settlements. They're this, just this entire northern area. Which I mean isn't too bad of an idea to go after them. Then there's the greenskins who aren't a huge deal. Let's see, can we get a defensive alliance? No. But we're both against uh, Ulrich, so that should help out. But alright, we'll go after them. Let's send you guys to Brothel. And then we'll just hang out. <laughs> we need to hang out. We need to encamp and start buffing some stuff. See, we could go straight for getting Gores and Gore Herd Shield guys. Best of Gores. But I don't know if we necessarily need that yet. Can also go with more horde growth and recruitment capacity. I kind of also want this now that we have so much money. Plus five armor, plus five melee for all units is so good, and then plus ten, so it'd be plus fifteen at the end of it. Unless that doesn't stack, I don't actually know. No, I don't. I think it would. I think it would stack. And there's this one, which is upkeep, minus upkeep, at the cost of growth, but that's like an end game type thing. So let's take a, yeah, let's take this, have just better troops overall. Go ahead and end the turn. Alright, what we got? Yeah, he's doing his thing. I don't know what this orc herd is doing. I guess they're not a herd, but you know what I mean. Let's get walking. So I, what I'm assuming is that if I were to go straight for Marienburg, who's like, that's the campaign about, like, uh, that it would be a bad idea. Oh, what is this? 2,000 or assured? Oh, hell yeah, we'll take that leadership or that growth all day. What? <laughs> who's that? Is that... I probably should attack these guys. They're sitting over here suffering attrition. Emil the Scarred. Let me see, what is our objectives? Okay, so let's just kill. Oh, major campaign victory, yeah. Destroy Marienburg. Earn the falling amount from raiding. 15,000, okay. Ensure that Boris Toddbringer is in a wounded state. Oh, so to forget to get the campaign victory, you had to raise thirty settlements. So far, we've done six. So yeah, you had to take, you had to clear this map essentially, which it feels kind of lazy. <laughs> like I don't know, the Riverhorn were killed. Good job, guys. Uh, we definitely don't want. Let's see, weapon strength for... Problem is we're like a little bit too far out to benefit. How many turns is it? Three? We might be able to wink this work. Is that... Oh, that's Middenheim. 
We're not war with them, are we? No, we're just it. Oh, so that means there's more stuff to the north. So we're gonna have to go all the way up there. All right. God damn it, sir! Can you get the hell out of my way? I'm marching. Let's see what happened to my? Oh, they're going to the south. Okay, that's fine. I'm curious what kind of army was able to take out the uh, the other beastmen group though. That'll be interesting to see. I'm very curious. So we're just gonna be able to waltz in here and take this. Oh, this is their capital? What? <laughs> I didn't realize this is their capital. Well, let's hang out here for a second. I'm assuming then that means they're gonna come after me. That's crazy. Oh, they have a weak, weak army. Oh my god. Can I move these guys? Oh, I can. Sacrificed warriors. Plus, no, I don't want the minus growth. Yeah. This is Ulrich, right? Yeah. Attack them. There we go. Okay. So we can hang out. I mean, we're just gonna keep sieging. I might fight this one just because I have a fight <laughs> in this video. Because the way it's looking is I won't. Um, I could take the siege holdout time right now, which I will. I mean, it'll be ten turns, so I don't be able to. Um... Oh, what is this? There's a chaos warriors of chaos army here, which I'm assuming spawned out of the corruption. I don't know. I don't know what my relationship to them is. Yeah, it doesn't even say. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I super don't know what to do with them. Oh, cool, and they're still going for Brockle. Nice. Alright, we'll wait one more until we had that second ram. And then go for it. The only thing I really wish I had is, um... A Saigor, so I could break the walls, but that's all right. Your plus ten to steel rage, yeah, I'll do that one. Let's kill him. So we have two. Yeah, they don't have anything fancy. Let's fight him. This should go rather quickly. We just gotta make sure the shaman kind of hangs in the back, and then what we can do is send. Once we get the two towers going up, we can send all the little units through there and then send the minotaurs and centaurs to break down the door. Should go well. At least I hope. <laughs> Could go awful, but I will I will hope not. They have halberdiers. Oh yeah, so that'll be good against the minotaurs. So I think, I think that, yeah, they do count as monsters. Okay, cool. And the crossbowmen, who are actually garbage. <laughs> they try to get pistoliers as soon as possible. Or no, it's handgunners. I don't know, I haven't played Empire in a long time. <laughs> I think it's handgunners. But I do not know. Man, this one's taking a long time to load. <laughs> like, what the hell? Is it just because of the siege? I guess I haven't really done a siege in a while. So maybe this is normal? Maybe shit's going crazy? Okay, so it does say Lord Beast has shape-shifting, so I'm assuming that's when he becomes a manticore, and I'm assuming the shaman can just become the manticore. At least that's what it seems like. Okay, that's pretty nice. Our spearmill shields are uh, like the main fighting force. Let's just make it simple, and then they can all be, actually what we should do is go like that, no, I always do that, I always forget to deselect, one. okay so where's the gate, so the gate's here, so what I would love to do, is have these guys deploy here, Like 
that bird that that and the chamois can hang out over here too I'm fine with that starting let's do it let's start the battle oh yeah go for it go my little ones have fun See what they have? Oh, they have. They smartly put the halberdiers over here. Okay, fair enough. Actually, we should have the archers go for them. And I honestly think we we just go for this on this side. Does he have magic missile? Does he have like a speed one? Yeah, he does. Go for it, there we go. Can you guys hurry up? I want them to... My lord's under attack already, Jesus. That's alright, that's not that big a deal. They're shooting them with the little towers. Because as soon as I break through that, this is over. Because <laughs> there's no way they can handle the centaurs and mantars. Alright, these are about to land, so we start moving these guys up as well. Sieging that down. It should take a lot of damage, I'm assuming. Are they shooting? Are they not shooting yet? I need them to hit the halberdiers, not the wall. Yeah, it looks like there's a group. Oh yeah, the, the leader group is right below that. Nice. Okay, they landed. So let's just... Get up there. All you guys run. There we go. My hidden. What is back here? Oh, it's the shaman. <laughs> Whoops. Forgot he was the thing. Alright, well, we should be fine. The swordsmen, I should be. Or the shieldmen should be fine. Because they're. They're buffter. Buffter. Buff. <laughs> fucking buffter. They're. They're more buff units than the uh, the basic Empire troop. So they should be fine. Then this gate's about to go down. And uh... Just... This unit is so fucked. This, yep. Goodbye, good sir. Just... <laughs> centaurs and minotaurs and then the big ass... Uh, freaking Kazrak one-eye. Just barreling through the door and your leader. Real bad planning on their part. And I don't know what the hell is up with the halberds. They should be down here fighting. But they are not. Are they really shooting the shaman? Get shaman, just run. Just get out of here. I can't have you die. Okay, I need the centigors and my hero unit to fight the halberds. Nope. Not what I wanted. I wanted to fight these guys. No? Okay. What the hell? Do I have the oh, these guys are moving because they dropped down. That's fine. I mean, this is essentially over. <laughs> it's just a matter of how badly can we beat them. All that happened. There it is. What is hanging out down here? Oh, they're running. Okay. Go ahead and take them. Okay, this is this has been wrapped up. <laughs> I do like the beastmen are cool. I am a big fan of. They're just like they're just the absolute brute strength army. I guess them and orcs, but orcs are a little more like they're cab heavy kind of. So are they just running or are they gonna regroup? Let's have like the back lines here. Go take them out. There we go, this should be alright. I'm so shot. You know, oh, that's the Halberds. I was gonna say, if that's their hero unit still, I am. I give him all the 
praise because he lasted forever. Yo, what? Okay, they broke. Oh, that's game. Okay. <laughs> I was going to go out to that archer unit. But I guess not. End the battle. Indecisive victory. We lost 247. So, not necessarily ideal. We'll have to recoup for a little bit. Which is annoying. But, that's alright. It was fun to get in a siege. Well, I'll try to do that, like, because... I know just playing overworld stuff can be boring for a lot of people. So I gotta try to get in a fight here and there. <laughs> just to keep things going. So... I'm glad they've got one here. Wow, seven thousand dollars. Not dollars, favor, whatever, monies. Take it. So you got speed plus fifteen percent to the assigned unit. Well that's going to the Minotaurs. He leveled up. We can give him more sweet, sweet growth. How are we looking growth wise now? Uh we get fourteen per turn. So it's every two turns we're getting one growth. We have six, so we'll be able to. So next turn we'll be able to encamp, and then um, get. So this is eleven seconds. Hmm. Spawn the Manticore. I'm super curious if that means Shadow Hide missile resistance. Oh, I wonder if that's why he has, like, the melee attack stuff. But let's, we'll take it. We'll see how that goes. Um, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, next turn we can, um, we can get the growth going. We can get the, the bloody layer going. And then maybe go for the upgraded, um, gore herd. Gore herd with shields. Is there any like substantial difference between the two? So one has way better melee attack, while the other one's a little more defensive. I'm probably just gonna go for the melee ones because we have the Ungor shield spearmen dudes. Who if I really need anything too crazy, then that's who I use. I honestly I don't really think I'm even gonna use the best of Gore Herd. Because it's like Minotaurs. <laughs> like how do you go against Minotaurs? But, who knows? We'll figure it out. Let's, we'll go ahead and end the turn. I'll, I'll get all the buildings going and then I'll, I'll call it for this episode. Just cause, I feel like we reached a decent time. So yeah, we'll take the bloody layer. And I think we get this one so that we can start doing Gore Herd as our basic troop. Yeah. Because the Ungor Herd's good, but they're not better than the Gore Herd. <laughs> they're not better at all. Yeah. I mean, they shield in stock, but... Let's see. Yeah, they're just weaker in literally every scenario, minus the shield. So yeah, so we'll replace them. And I mean, the Ungor Spearman Herd will probably be replaced at some point anyway. Because they won't be really used later down. Same with the Ungor Raiders. I'm still super unsure as to how good they are. It might be worth just going no artillery or no um, missile infantry. But I'm not sure. If you guys have suggestions, please let me know. Because, I don't know, I even at doing the Grand Campaign, doing this campaign, I still feel like I'm not really good with the Beastmen. Like, I'm not, like, super great at this game in general, but with the Beastmen specifically, I feel like I don't quite grasp them yet. So if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. But I'm going to get out of here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, hopefully see you next time. See you guys.